Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'll be answering two very popular questions with regards to postgraduate qualifications in the UK, mainly the MRCP and the FRCP, and also the MRCS and the FRCS. So if you'd like to know more about those qualifications, please keep on watching. So the first question, what is the difference between the MRCP and the FRCP? The MRCP stands for Membership of the Royal College of Physicians and the FRCP stands for Fellowship of the Royal College of Physicians. The MRCP is a postgraduate medical diploma for doctors wishing to enter into one of the higher medical specialities. It is open to all doctors. It is a three-part exam and will take around one to two years to complete. The MRCP is pretty much compulsory if you want to apply to one of the higher medical specialities like respiratory, cardiology, dermatology, neurology. There are about 24 medical specialties that you can choose from after completing the MRCP. Fellowship is slightly different. Fellows of the Royal College of Physicians are distinguished consultants and are given the honour of using the FRCP title. In the UK, the FRCP is basically a medical award as a recognition for the doctor's expertise and contribution to the medical profession. Fellowship isn't a membership. It is more like an accolade. You don't have to sit for any exams or anything like that, but most fellows do hold an MRCP. An existing RCP fellow can propose a candidate for this award. There are essentially three ways of becoming a fellow of the Royal College of Physicians. The three ways are via nominations, criteria or self-declaration. For the nomination route, you need to be nominated by an existing RCP fellow. You should ideally have three or more years experience as a consultant for this route. For the criteria route, you can be automatically selected for consideration by the RCP via the annual census. For the self-declaration route, you can declare your interest to become a fellow via the annual census. For this route, you must be an RCP London member. There are different requirements for international candidates. I will leave a link to the full list of requirements down below so you can check it out too. So the next question, what is the difference between the MRCS and the FRCS? MRCS stands for Membership of the Royal College of Surgeons. FRCS stands for Fellowship of the Royal College of Surgeons. There is an old and new FRCS. I will only be talking about the new FRCS here because I want to keep it simple and I don't want to confuse you guys. Like the MRCP, the MRCS is also a postgraduate diploma, but a postgraduate surgical diploma. It is open to all doctors. The MRCS consists of two parts and will take around one to two years to complete. The MRCS is a compulsory step before applying for higher surgical training in the UK, like urology, trauma and orthopedics, plastic surgery, general surgery and vascular surgery. In other words, the MRCS is the basic qualification for entering into a higher surgical specialty training program. This is similar to the old FRCS. The new FRCS is normally called FRCS in brackets, a surgical subspecialty, like FRCS trauma and orthopedics, FRCS plastics, FRCS urology. FRCS is an exit exam of the surgical subspecialties in the UK. It is the final qualification you get after finishing a postgraduate training program, which is usually around six years long in that particular surgical subspecialty and after completing the FRCS exit exam. This is the qualification that allows you to practice as a consultant in that particular surgical speciality. The FRCS exit exam is run by the Joint Committee on Intercollegiate Examination Board. If I am not mistaken, the exam consists of two parts. Section A is a written exam and Section 2 is an oral exam. I will leave a link to the JCIE website down below so you can find more information about the exam. That is all for my video today. I hope you found this useful. If you have any more questions, please leave it in the comments down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!